Okay, the topology, the addressing table. In this packet tracer physical mode, you will cable equipment is shown in the topology diagram. You will then configure the devices to match the addressing table. After the configurations have been saved, you will verify your configurations by testing the network connectivity. Set up the topology. Move the required router and switch from the shelf to the rack. Okay, uh, go to topology. Uh, you need a router and switch. R1 and S1. Okay. Look at the names R1 and S1. R1. as well. Move the required PCs from the shelf to the table, PCA and PCB. PCA and PCB. Cable the devices. Okay, from gigabit 001 on R1 to fast Ethernet 5 on S1. And use a green cable, uh, copper straight through. From gigabit 001 on R1 to fast Ethernet 5 on S1. From gigabit 000 to PCB. Okay. From gigabit 000 on the router, from gigabit 000 on the router to PCB. This is PCB, fast Ethernet interface. Not RS232, use fast Ethernet. Okay, very good. And from fast Ethernet 6 on S1 to PCA. Fast Ethernet 6 on S1 to fast Ethernet on PCA. Power on all the devices. Click here to power on the router. Now you can see the green indicator. And the switch is connected by default to the power distribution device. So the power connection for S1 is enough to power on the device. configure devices and verify connectivity. Assign a static IP information to the PC interface. On PCA, configure IP address of NetMask default gateway. On PCB, IP address of NetMask default gateway. Okay, and PCA, click. Desktop. Okay, don't forget to power on PCA. Don't forget to power on PCB. Okay, click on PCA. 
desktop, IP configuration, go to addressing table and configure this. Okay. 192.168.13, prefix 24. And the default gateway is this 11. 192.168.11. Go to PCB, desktop, IP configuration, and configure this. Okay. 192.168.03. So my net mask. 24 and the default gateway 01 okay and now configure ipv6 on pca configure ipv6 okay go to pca Configure IP6 2001 DBA ACAD 1 colon colon 3. Okay. Prefix 64. And link local address not specified and default gateway FE80 colon colon 1. Default gateway FE80 colon colon 1. Okay, very good. Go to PCB. And uh, PCB, IPv6 address. Okay, PCB. 2001 DB8 ACAD, column, column 3, prefix 64. Okay, is uh, column 0. 2001 dba ACAD column 0 column column 3 but it's the same to use 2001 dba ACAD column column 3 okay it's the same and don't worry and for gateway fe80 column column 1 fe80 column column 1 link local address not specified from a command prompt window on pca ping pcb why were the pings not successful? Okay, PCA. Common prompt and ping IPv4 others of PCB. Okay, from PCA, ping PCB. From PCA, ping PCB. And IP address of PCB is this 192.168.03. And ping will fail. Okay. Why were the pings not successful? The router interfaces, the file gateways, have not been configured yet. So layer 3 traffic is not being routed between subnets. Okay, remember between PCA and PCB, there is a router R1 that should be configured. Configure the router, console into the router and enable privilege exec mode. Okay, from PCA, from PCA, I will connect the console on the router. Use a light blue cable console cable from PCA RS232 port to uh, console port on the router okay very good click on PCA close command prompt open terminal okay enter would you like to enter initial configuration dialog no Enter, enter, uh, enable privilege exec mode, enable. This is privilege exec mode, enter configuration mode. 
configure terminal, assign the device name, okay, host name R1, case okay, sensitive, assign class as the privilege exec encrypted password. Okay, enable secret class. Okay. Encrypt that password. Use secret for an encrypted password and class is the password. Assign Cisco as the console password. Okay, first access to line console. And there is only one console, it's number zero. Okay, remember only one console, this 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 port. Okay, number zero and Cisco is the console password. Password Cisco and enable login. Login to enable the the login and exit from line configuration mode. Exit from line configuration mode to global configuration mode and assign Cisco the BTY password. Okay, access line BTY, lines from 0 to 15, 16 lines from 0 to 15, Cisco is the BTY password, Cisco, and enable logging. Logging, then exit from line configuration mode, Remember, PTY is the Telnet access configuration. Encrypt the plain text passwords. So use service password dash encryption. Create a banner that warns anyone accessing the device that unauthorized access is prohibited. Banner message of the day. Un out to rise it access is prohibited. No to raise it access is prohibited. Enter. Configure and activate both interfaces on the router. Okay. R1 gigabit 000, zero, zero. configure all this. The page will be 000, zero, zero. IP address 192.168.01. 24 is this. 255, 255, 255, 0. IP6 address 2001. 2001. DBA. ACAD. Column, column uh, 1. Prefix 64. Okay, and remember is uh, column zero, but is the same to use column column one and enter. Uh, don't forget link local address. So that's why you will use the link local address as the default gateway on the PCs. Okay, the link local address, IPv6 address. FE80 column column one link dash local enter and now shut down to enable the interface and now you will see the green indicator here on the router and on the switch now it's blinking the traffic exists okay enter and gigabit 001 Gigabit 001, IPv4 address 181.68.11.24, IPv6 address, IPv6 address 2001, DBA, ACAD, column 1, column, column 1, prefix 64, link local address, the same, IPv6 address, FEA0, column, column 1, link local. Not shut down to enable the interface. Now you can see the the indicator. Okay, also indicators on the PCs.
configure an interface description for each interface indicating which device is connected to it. Okay, add descriptions on interfaces. Okay, uh, remember gigabit 00 is connected to PCB. Go to gigabit 000 description connection to PCB. Okay, you can use any description. It's only a label. Enter. And gigabit 001 is connected to S1. Interface gigabit 001, description connection to S1. Enter. Okay, exit from interface configuration mode to go global configuration mode and to enable IPv6 routing. Enter the IPv6 unicast routing command. IPv6 unicast dash routing. Save the running configuration to the startup configuration. Uh, and, and do this on privileged exec mode and copy running config to start up config. Okay, copy the contents of running configuration to the startup config. Source is running, startup is uh, destination. Running is the RAM, and startup MB RAM, enter, enter again. Okay. Set the clock on the router. Use the question mark to help with the correct sequence of parameters needed to execute this command. Okay, and, and do this on privilege exec mode and, and use the command. Okay, the command is clock set and use uh, question mark for help. Okay, question mark for help and use our minute and second. Okay, and now is uh, 12, 44, mm, 15. Okay, our minute and second and mm, question mark. Use the day or month. Okay, I will use the day. Now is 11. Question mark. Uh, specify the month is August. August question mark and the year 2021. Enter. Very nice. Okay, um, from command prompt window of PCA, pink PCB. Okay. PCA and close the terminal, open command. Okay, remember previously the, the ping failed because the router was not configured and now try again. Okay, success. Also, you can use IPv6 to ping IPv6 others of PCB. Big 2001 DBA ACAD column column three success if pings are not successful the Windows firewall may need to be turned off okay this is for real app were the pings successful explain okay yes the router is routing traffic across the two subnets. The default settings for the 2960 switch will automatically turn up the interfaces that are connected to the devices. Configure the switch. You will configure the host name, VLAN1 interface, and it's the default gateway. Console into the switch. Okay, I will console the switch using PCB, using a console cable. This and from RS232 on PCB, connect the switch as one. Well. But where is the console port? Uh, right click, inspect rear, and console is here. Okay, click here and now. 
you have the connection from PCB to S1 using console. Okay, click on S1, uh, click on PCB, terminal, okay, enter, enable, okay, you are on privilege exec mode, privilege exec mode, and enter configuration mode, your terminal, mm, the host name, assign a device name to the switch, host name, remember, S1, okay, sensitive, capital S, configure and activate the VLAN interface on the switch S1, okay, this is, okay, according to the addressing table, on interface VLAN1, okay, it's a virtual interface, a virtual interface, okay, for management and Interface VLAN 1. IP address 192.168.12. Subnet mask 24. Is this? Okay, no IPv6 address and enable the interface with no shutdown. Enter and exit from interface configuration mode. Exit and set the default gateway. IP default dash gateway. 192.168.11. Very good. Configure the default gateway for the switch. Okay, is this? Save the running configuration to the startup configuration file. Okay, uh, and copy running dash config to startup dash config. Enter, enter. Okay, very good. Completion 100%, but verify connectivity, end-to-end -end connectivity from PCA to PCB. Okay, go to PCA. Remember, this is the common prompt. After configuring the switch, ping from PCA to PCB, enter, success. Using, using IPv6, ping from PCA to PCB, Okay, success from S1 ping PCB. Okay, from S1 ping PCB. Okay, go to console on. Uh, remember, the console of PCB is connected to S1. And from S1 ping IP address of PCB. IPv4 others. Okay, 182.168.03. Success. Success and all pings should be successful. Very good. Display device information. You will use show commands to retrieve interface and routing information from the router and switch. Display the routing table on the router. Use the show IP root command on R1 to answer the following questions. Okay, remember PCA is connected to the console of R1, so click on PCA, close common prompt, open terminal. Okay, and uh, show IP root, show IP root, and okay. What code is used in the routing table to indicate the directly connected network? Okay, and okay, and the answer is C designates a directly connected subnet. Okay, C is connected. And L designates a local interface. Okay, L is local interface. How many root entries are coded with a C code in the routing table? Okay. One, two. The answer is two. What interface types are associated to the C coded routes? Okay, and gigabit zero 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 and gigabit zero zero one. Use 
show IPv6 root command on R1 to display the IPv6 routes. Okay, show IPv6 root. Okay, two directly connected networks and uh, local networks. Okay, and very similar to IPv4 routing table. Display the interface information on R1. Show interface gigabit 001. Show interface gigabit 001. Okay. What is the operational status of the gigabit 001 interface? Interface gigabit 001 is up and line protocol is up. What is the media access control MAC address of the gigabit 001 interface? This is a uh, hardware address is 00604731A102. Okay, Bornet in address is the same. Okay. Okay, this is the hardware address. Um, this another address is the same for now, but you can change this by software. But the board net in address will remain this. How is the internet address displayed in this command? Okay, internet address is 181.68.11, prefix 24. For the IPv6 information, enter show IPv6 interface. Okay, space uh, show uh, show IPv6 interface gigabit 001. So you can see the status is our protocol up. You can see the global unicast address, and also you can see the link local address. display a summary list of the interfaces on the router and switch. There are several commands that can be used to verify an interface configuration. One of the most useful is the show IP interface brief command. The command output displays a summary list of the interface on the device and provides immediate feedback about the status of each interface. Okay, on R1, show IP interface brief. So IP interface brief. Okay, very good. The interfaces with IP address and a status, status up and protocol up. Okay, another interfaces, no IP address on a signet and down. Okay. Show IPv6 interface brief, okay. The analog command bit for IPv6. Show IPv6 interface brief. Now you can see the interfaces, the status, up, up, IPv6 addresses. Very good. Show IP interface brief command on S1. Okay, remember the console of S1 is connected to PCB. Okay, so go to PCB. Uh, you are on command line of S1, enter and show IP interface brief. Okay, um, 24 facet internet ports, 2 gigabit ports, and one virtual interface, VLAN 1. Now you can see 5 and 6 are in use. Okay, and virtual interface is up. Okay, very nice. Reflection questions. If the gigabit 001 interface showed that it was administratively down, what interface configuration command would you use to bring the interface up? Okay, use no shutdown command on interface configuration mode. 
what would happen if you had incorrectly configured interface 0 bit 001 on the router with the IP address of 192.168.1.2 and the answer is PCA will not be able to ping PCB this is because PCB is on a different network than PCA which uh, requires the default gateway router to route these packets PCA is configured to use the IP address of 192.168.11 for the default gateway router but this address is not assigned to any device on the LAN any packets that need to be sent to the default gateway for routing will never reach their destination okay look at this gigabit 001 on router has the IP address 192.168.11 and PCA close this uh, IP configuration PCA has the default gateway 192.168.11 if you change the IP address of gigabit 001 on R1 to 1.2 PCA will not uh, will not be able to reach the default gateway so PCA needs the default gateway to reach PCB to reach another network so the ping will fail okay 100% thank you very much